Hey everybody, it's Kirk Williams here again. Uh, sorry to get back to you so late about this exciting new product. Uh, I know that everybody knows about April 20th. A lot of things are coming out for T-Mobile. Uh, the G2X and G-Slate. Uh, I know it's a bit late, but we're going to get it out to you. Uh, we're going to talk about the Sidekick a little bit. So let's do a little unboxing and a hands-on from it. Um, I, I think uh, everybody knows the Sidekick brand. Well, Samsung has taken it upon itself to reboot the brand. Uh, I think everybody uh, knows, either loved or hate the old one, uh, especially with a lot of the data issues and the data outage that happened a couple of years ago. So, uh, Samsung took it upon itself to kind of uh, add its Android touch to it. Uh, so, let's get down to business and see what's going on with it. Um, here's the box. It's kind of a little funky. It, it's more be made more for the 18 to uh, 28 crowd. So it's a little hipper box, has a Sidekick 4G on it uh, right here. On the back of it are the specs that come with it. A big megapixel camera and camcorder, uh, one, gigahertz, one gigahertz Hummingbird processor uh, that's in it. Uh, if you open it up, when it does come in the box, it has a little white ribbon right here. So when it's uh, like that place in the box, you can get it out. I guess that's kind of kind of hip. And a um, little z shape format of when you pull it out of the box for all the goodies that are inside. And inside, it's the uh, lot of standard T-Mobile stuff from the return label to the terms and condition to the startup guy. But uh, with a few things on here that uh, you might want to go over. It does use the micro USB charger, so we do have a charger for it. And a USB cord for all of your syncing needs. And it also has the adapter for the, uh, the 2 uh, gig, the two gig uh, memory card for it. So it does have the processor for that if you did want to uh, you know, get your pictures developed or use it. Um, in the PC or anything like that. So uh, let's get down to the phone just to show you kind of the insides of it. Um, you do have to take the back off to put the memory card in there, but it does have the two gig memory card right there. It does have a the, the battery, a 15 um, milliamp battery. It's supposed to be six and a half um, hours of talk time on there. Let's go ahead and put that back. It has a front-facing camera on there for all of your video calling, and it does have Quick already installed on there. So, the big, one of the big uh, features on here, if you can see kind of how it pops up, it more or uh, less slides up than the old Sidekick, which just do a flip around on it. So, it um, from myself using it, you know, it feels a bit different, but it does seem a little bit sturdier. Um, it's supposed, well, it's supposed to be a little bit sturdier than that flip around, um, that flip action on it. Another feature that it does have is something that's new called cloud texting. So cloud texting, you can send and receive text messages from your home PC via the cloud text web app. And, you know, you can wildly synchronize your messages with your mobile devices so the conversation thread is always up to date. So I believe um, Google tried something like this um, where you can always send messages out there and, and people can update them at any time. So this phone actually has the ability to do that. Uh, we see that it is a five-row QWERTY keyboard, which uh, some people like those, but some people some people don't. But it does have an extra dedicated row uh, for the numbers right here. A few extra shortcut buttons. Here's a back button. Right here is a toggle to go from application to application and go from all your home pages to home pages. Uh, right here is kind of a, another shortcut button, which looks kind of funky on there. Jump key, settings, uh, contacts, and all apps of that nature. So going into it, uh, just on the home screen, let's go back to that home screen. Here's something on here called group texting. Um, now, I am a BlackBerry owner, so it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit difficult for me to do group texting. I actually have to put all my friends' names in there one at a time. But with the group texting app, it's easier for you to text. Um, you know, free to create and participate in and manage or reply all uh, text messages. So I kind of like that feature on it. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, it is a three megapixel uh, camera with autofocus on it. Has other things like the mobile video chat, um, apps that are already in it, the T Mobile TV, and a lot of the Google apps are in, are in there. It does have the USB and the Wi Fi uh, tethering on there. So it can be, you can use it to um, tether your up to five devices. Uh, the GPS and navigation uh, system on there. As far as the gig, uh, as far as the memory card goes, it is expandable for up to 32 gigs, and it has a lot of the other Google um, um, goodies in there uh, that are already included. I uh, really like the the one gigahertz Thunderbird processor. I know one gig, gig is like a standard um, in most of the phones now, but it does make it pretty unique uh, when you do you know scroll and go from different apps to different apps. Uh, it is a Samsung phone, so on the back of it, we do have that. Um, kind of see it behind the sticker. Let's get that sticker off of there. 
You do say that it is made by Samsung. And one of the big things about Samsung that I love is the Media Hub on here. So uh, everybody knows from the Media Hub, you can have up to five devices. You can download uh, movies on one of the devices and five devices have access to it. So um, like I said, this does come out on April 20th. And uh, if anyone has any uh, questions for it, you can uh, always go to our Facebook page at face www.facebook.com slash Hampton T-Mobile. Or you can uh, just ask us a question right here on the board. So everybody look out for the um, Samsung Sidekick 4G. And uh, it'll be in your store soon. So until ne next time, everybody, uh, just have a good one. Bye.